Hi Soul Family, it's LaTanya with Saggy Soul. Thank you so much for tuning in this week, August the 12th through August the 18th. I do have your, um, well, we'll be doing your Animal Spirit Guide readings for inspiration for this week. And I will be starting off with the fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I've already done my intentions and I've already done my prayer off camera. So let's get into it. We'll start with the pre-shuffle. Um, I will be using The Secret Language of Animals by Chip Richards. Okay, let's get going. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. <clears throat> Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you can contact me at latanya at sagisoul.com. And I am working on my website, my Instagram, and my Twitter account. It's a process. All right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the week of August the 12th through August the 18th. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, August the 12th through August the 18th. <clears throat> All right, my fire signs for the week of August the 12th through August the 18th, you have the tree frog. All right, soul song, med meditation, creation, and rebirth. Ooh. <clears throat> so this looks like this is going in for this week. Soul song, meditation, creation, and rebirth. Okay, for let's start off because I know a lot of you guys uh, probably don't meditate or probably don't know how to meditate or it's hard to focus and meditate. It's also hard for me too. Um, but I'm really getting into the practice of trying um, to do it on a daily basis. Just pushing thoughts out of my head and just trying to clear, um, just clear your path for the week. Uh, one suggestion is to light a candle and stare at the candle. <laughs> Uh, but of course you have to have a quiet environment and if you need to close your eyes just to clear some of the blockage and op reopen your eyes and stare back at the candle that's great too um, I would suggest starting at maybe five minutes and kind of work your way up and see how that goes for you uh, you can also do guided meditations there are a lot of uh, teachers who are on YouTube that have guided meditations so and that's just basically listen to someone's voice they tell you the things to do how to relax what to focus on so if a lot of a lot of you guys have a lot of chaos in your life or a lot of things are kind of unorganized or um, you're just going through um, a little bit of heartache or um, just certain issues that's a great um, that's a great practice to take up meditation uh, okay and let's just get into the soul song um, I think I had something in relation to this last week where we talked about how everyone has a journey. Um, everyone, um, or a family tradition, things that you follow through um, that maybe your parents have done or your grandparents have done um, that led you to the path you are now. And just um, looking at the essence really of who you are and what do you wanna be when you grow up? <laughs> For a lot of us, we're already grown, but you know, what are the things that you thought about when you were a child that you know you had aspirations to be to become and are you on that life path and if you're not on that life path i always say it's never too late to unless you're trying to be a doctor <laughs> you know that's like eight to twelve years of of studying and schooling but um and it's never too late for that either but it's it's just a hard road and a hard challenge to to get in that type of occupation but uh, where are you on your life path right now? Are you doing the things that <clears throat> make you excited, that give you the passion to get up every day and want to go to work, um, go to work, deal with people at your job, those kind of things. And, and if you're not, what are you doing? I always say, what are you doing for yourself um, when you're alone by yourself to think about things or, or um, different processes to get you started along along your soul path, things that, that you know you have a passion for, things that you might have touched five, ten years ago, but maybe it's time to, you know, get back into those things. Uh, for example, with me, you know, I've known, I've probably done tarot for 
since I was in my 20s and didn't pick it up until so many years, 15, 20 years later, whatever. But um, just getting back to things that you have a passion for, things that you're good at, they just come naturally. So that's what I think about when I think about soul song, um, figuring out what do you want to be when you grow up, right? Because you're never too, learn, too old to learn a new skill set or um, a new occupation. Um, and then for rebirth, creation of rebirth, this can go into uh, a few different things. Uh, your life path, uh, your work and, and career, and also just kind of relationship. Um, jump starting um, a stale relationship. If, of course, both parties are in agreement and it's a healthy, stable relationship. Um, I'm not talking about, you know, any type of toxicity, but um, things where both partners are committed to uh, rediscovering what brought you guys together in the first place and um, how to rekindle the flame and um, do kind things for each other, say kind things to each other, um, plan trips together, do certain excursions together, uh, that type of thing. Uh, I think that's great for relationships as far as the whole creation and rebirth of rediscovering who your partner was, who rediscovering who your partner is, and what made you guys come together in the first place. Um, so my fire signs: Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm a double Sagittarius, so I always have to do fire signs first. I know you guys are gonna get sick of hearing me um, say that, but for this week you have the tree frog. And that is your focus for the week of August the 12th uh, through August the 18th. Okay, you guys like and love, think positive, and uh, I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much, Soul Family.